Hello, hello. Today I thought we'd play some of the older levels that I didn't haven't showcased yet in the community level showcase. And we'll start with uh, there's a few of these old ones I haven't done, but let's just play the the first level uploaded to the exchange, Deadly Encounter by me. Um, I might have gone through and tried to record these, but had issues with it, so I think the time on this one's already pretty fast. But we will see what we can do. I can't guarantee I'm going to beat that 9... 950, but we'll give it our best shot. Okay, looks like we have two choices. We go... Okay. Goo's in the middle here, gotta get all the keys. And we can go left or right at the start. I'm not sure what the fastest way is. I'll probably remember once I do it, but maybe not. We'll just uh, we'll just see what we've got to work with. This way doesn't seem too... Oh, okay, I can do a little jump there. It's hard to get that little jump. Oh, that was pretty good. And then over... and then... Okay, that's... that's... That's definitely not going to be the fastest way. Let's try... I guess instead of going... Maybe we should get blue before red here. Oh, <laughs> that kind of leaves me in a bad spot. <laughs> But we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Oh man. Okay. That's a hard jump. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I just get the Orange King and come back that way? I guess I don't... Yeah, I don't have to go up at all once I get the orange key. Oh, I forgot to get blue. Oh wait, I'm supposed to get blue first and then red. <laughs> Dang. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think that was already pretty slow though. Yeah, I was trying to go for red and then I realized I needed to go for blue. So instead I ended up dying. Because I went for neither. Okay, I don't think that route's going to be fast for me. Let's try blue first. We'll see what we can do there. I mean, obviously we know that 9 seconds is possible. 9.50. Oh, this seems like the way. Yeah, that seems fast. Let's, let's see what we can improve there. Oh. Oh, we can land... 
We can land all the way in the pocket. Because it's gotta be pretty perfect there. It's a hard pocket to land in. There we go. I don't know if that helps me though. Because then I'm gonna jump later. And my momentum's still going right unless I hit the wall, so I think just hitting that, hitting the top corner of this like that is probably going to help me the most. And then here, I don't see any sense in going green-orange when I can just go orange-green. Right like that. And then the question is... Once we're here, how do we get red key the best? Can I make that? Oh, dang it. I wanted to see if I could make the uh, islands to islands jump. We, I can. I can make that. But is that the fastest way? I don't know. We will have to figure it out. Because we can jump... We don't have to land on this top piece. We can just hit that, jump here, because we have to do another jump anyway, and then jump over here. I think that's pretty fast. And then if I get it right from here, I can just ride into the end. Nothing but net. But, what can we do if we go onto the top island? Does it help us? I feel like it's just gonna waste a little bit more of our time to go top island. Up here. Unless I can jump over it. I think that's the only way that it would be faster, potentially. Is if I can jump over that and carry my momentum all the way down. But I'm gonna guess that it's not possible to jump all the way over it. I'm trying to get right on the edge there, but I keep dying. Ah! Yeah, we're gonna clip that, so we're gonna lose our downward momentum. And I think it's just gonna lose us time overall. So we're gonna stick, we're gonna stick with the strategy I'm showing right now. Oh. oh wait, I need to not jump there, I need to... like that. Oh, okay. And then the other thing I need to do is I need to land on this side of the wall. Just get the key and then jump rather than... I was landing on the far side before. We got it! 928. Sweet. I think we can do slightly better. 
I don't know how close to nine seconds we can get, but I think I can do a little better here. I gotta jump right at the top of that. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, dang it. Yeah, it might be possible to get under nine seconds. Oh, that was good. 917. 917. How low can we go? Oh, that was good. I think that I think uh, getting a nice short jump at the top here is going to be cr crucial. Clipped it. That might have been a good one. But I clipped the final edge. Oh, no. Not gonna happen there. Ah! Oh. Oops. That doesn't happen in a while. Dang. jump high enough there. Oh! <laughs> it's looking good. Oh, dang it. I land low enough here on this and I get that and that puts me slightly higher up I don't know if that really helps me but I'm just gonna kind of go for that strategy it seems smoother but I think being up higher is probably also more beneficial because that means I waste less time falling down. I'm trying really hard not to cling to the wall there because it loses all my downward speed. I don't mind clinging once I have to jump. Like, that was fine. I did a little cling at the bottom, but... Oh, yeah! Oh, I think it's, it's definitely possible to get under 9, but I don't know if I'm going to get faster than 9.07 in this session. That was pretty good. That was pretty clean. That... The jump I did here to the right was too high. Could have saved some time by getting a lower jump. Right there. That was a really high jump. Didn't need that.
Yeah, you could definitely get under nine seconds. But we'll have to leave that for uh, for somebody else. Because I'm I'm very happy with the 907. I, I wasn't expecting to beat the 950 to be honest, because I thought I did a good job last time but when I when I wasn't recording. But I'm happy that I could uh, produce some results for you guys watching. Thanks for hanging in there. Uh, yeah, we've got a got a few more of these older levels. We'll come back and cover, and then we'll be all caught up with all the the levels on the exchange. Have to make some more levels. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching for now, and I'll catch you in the next one. Check out the links in the description to learn more about the true Slime King.